Hello everyone and welcome back to our ecosystem and today we are going to be sorting out the desert and the plains. As it does look pretty bare here, this does look like it's going to be the first place to go extinct and the plains kind of looks amazing still. So, oh, uh, is that your one of your guys? Ooh. It looks like he's starving, but he's not eating anything that is not good ghost is hunting down someone but we are going to sort out this place as it does look very 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 bare so we need to go to carnivores small don't think we have any small carnivores here i think the raptors have all buggered off from here i don't think there's well, there might be one raptor living here Oh no, we've got a couple of raptors living here actually, and the others are just living all the way down here, chilling. Yeah, so we have still got a few raptors living on the outskirts of the desert, which does mean they live here. So we've got some raptors, or oh, the Dilophosauruses aren't looking too good. So we got there, and we got Carnivore, uh, Carno still somehow surviving here. And the Scorpius Rexes did go extinct, which is very surprising. But they are extinct. And that's all the carno uh, carnivores here, which is very, very surprising. And now we can move on to herbivores, which I think should thrive a little bit better here. But you never know. Something could go drastically wrong, which the only ones here are Stegos. Gallimimuses. I didn't even know I put. I don't even think I put Gallimimuses here. Yeah, I put Gallimimuses all the way back here. We've got Gallimimuses now in the desert. We've got Gallimimuses, and that is it. So we've got yeah. So that is very surprising. We've got Gallimimuses moving down here now. Gallimimuses, which. Like I said, the more they move around, the more chances they will survive. And the one Kentro gets to come back and survive. But like I said, the more things move around, the more likely they will survive. As the fact is that they have more chance of not being eaten by everything in one place. So we're going to have four of them living over here. And then some Kentros. We'll go full five Kentros. Like, as the Kentros are coming back, it's going to be... I don't... Wait, where did the Stegos go? That is going to be a lot more surprising if the Stegos are all gone. Oh, they are Stegos. Oh, my God, that scared the life out of me. I thought, wow. I thought, there's no way that all of the stegos died but no so luckily we've got our stegos back now if you look at the parasaurs there's 11 of them left and they are just spread everywhere i think we still got some over here maybe maybe not maybe not i thought we did we've oh, we still got yeah we got one here on the literal skirt of both of them sleeping you got some over here but you got some massive amounts of them over going into the like swamp. But yeah, they are. They have definitely survived massively. And then we got the Dimetrodon here, the last standing Dimetrodon, who's gonna probably die maybe, which is gonna be sad. Is that a Gallimimus there? I oh, know that's uh, one of these guys who's moved out of there and gone into there. Okay. We've got a lot of things moving and surviving and thriving. We'll go three more Stegos. The Stegos were the things that wiped out the um, Scorpius Rexes. Died of thirst? Concussion? Yeah, we've got some Stegos here. King, King's still alive. King was probably our best one. Won three battles. Killed one creature. Killed a creature. Killed a creature. There, yeah, they've all killed something at some point. 
Alright, now we'll go over to the plains where we have got an absolute ton of creatures everywhere. We can go start with the carnivores and we'll go small. We've got... I don't actually know if the Dillo is still living over here. Oh, he is just surviving of a concussion. Yeah, we've definitely got Dillos. We've definitely got... Velociraptors, which are now our second Velociraptor coming out here. Media, like I met second of this episode, we've got Gigantoraptors live in here, and then we've got the large, which one of the Acros are dead, which means they are coming back alive. And then we go into the herbivores, which I've there is a strong amount of them. Wait, he's Oh, there are still two. I thought, oh, Jesus, they're dead. But no. Small. Um. So what actually lives here? At the minute. We'll release the acro things. The gallimimuses, I genuinely can't believe. No, not disable all eggs. I genuinely can't believe that, um, they've moved that far. Like, I didn't think they'd ever go into the desert, just because. Gigantoraptors, we can go with three of them. I'm surprised the Gigantoraptors have lasted this long as well. And then these guys, which we can have... We'll probably have, like, five of them. It won't be long till they start moving over here as well. And, like, the Stegos and stuff. we got some Kentros. Missing some ground fibre. That one living all the way over here is su surviving. We got Velociraptor living over here. We've got this. This is the last of his kind over here. And he has survived, which means he comes back. We still have the little HML guys as well. I forgot about these. We haven't got many of them left. But they're alive. Like, this is the place that holds the most creatures at the minute, I think. Like, the most species of different things. Or it's this place. It's either that or this place. The... Or maybe even this. I know there was a Baryonyx, like, kind of circling over here, seeing if he was going to go in, but he didn't in the end. Like, we've got loads of Baryonyxes leaving. You've got Baryon, it's everywhere, like, thinking about leaving. They're, like, living in the middle of the ocean. Of this little, the ocean. And then, yeah, we've got quite a few things just waiting. And I'm surprised that some of these creatures are actually still alive. Carnos have come to, like, the brink of extinction a couple of times. But now, we've got a couple of them back alive. Which is very surprising. Raptors are thriving. And hunting. No, panicking. Yeah, we've got a couple of them just... that They are going to thrive. Oh, we've got some things we can let out. Stegos. We can let the Stegos out. Woohoo! I'm not... Yeah, you... Why did you come over here now? I thought you were living over there. Or not. I don't know. I'm not going to really release any more of you. King is fighting. Already. He's fighting a Kano. How is he, he going to win? He probably will win. Hopefully. He's got the first damage. Can he keep it up? The so Karno's gonna go in. Karno's done a bit of damage. But King always takes quite a bit of damage. Runs in. Karno is injured, but will he run away? Yes. Yes. Karno's ran. Injured. What's he got? Lacerations, which means he's dead. He's gonna be gone. He is a goner. 
Well, we've got two HMLs left. But they're coming back. We've got some more Kentros. Boom. Kentros are back. Um, and I think that's it from over here. Yeah, and the Nudosaurus don't live over here, do they? I don't think they do. That's Anki. These are Ankies. That's the Nudosaurus, isn't it? Yeah, the one singular Nudosaurus. That's all for these little guys. Then we go into like the medium herbivores, which we have a couple of living over here. I don't know if we actually have Edmontosaurus living over here. We did for a little while, and I can't... Oh, no, we do. They all started moving or being hunted by, like, things coming over from the desert. We've definitely got him. The last of his kind lives over here, but now they're coming... They're going to be repopulated and come back in. We've got the Edmontosaurus, who also is thriving, which is very surprising. Because they were on, like, brink of extinction over here. There's, like, one or two of them left. Then they come over here and survive. Like, this guy's now going to be able to come back and survive. His little group are going to survive over here. Uh, yeah, they're gonna, they are going to survive, which is very, very surprising. Most of the herbivores, I, think, I thought that's why most of the pl places were going to die, die out. But it's not, it's like the herbivores are leaving the area, causing the carnivores to either leave the area or die. Meaning that's the reason that our places are going to be going extinct. Not the fact that the herbivores are being hunted into extinction. Because we've got like, got no more Edmontosauruses or like one Edmontosaurus living over here now. Which means once he's gone, they're extinct from this area, but they're not extinct from the world. As like the Gallimimuses, who live over here, there's not many of them living over here anymore. There's like one, maybe two, maybe three, well, there's a couple. But if they all move or be hunted, they are going to survive by living over here. Which is going to be very shocking. And like raptors are had to like as there was no herbivores they were willing to eat like they didn't want to eat the kentros they didn't want to eat the stegos they moved over here which means now we've got a whole new generation of raptors living over here and soon they might move over here as when parasols didn't live over here and parasols didn't live down here but now they do and if they, if the raptors live down here, it's going to be the Pyro raptors, the rap, Utah raptors, and the raptors all fighting over food, which will probably destroy some ecosystems, as they will probably over hunt like the herbivores. We've had a couple of like herbivores go extinct. We've got no more trikes left. Trikes are gone. These things are gone. But they, oh no, they're not. Oh. Amargosauruses are definitely gone. I think I did them. Yeah. Amargosauruses went extinct. Uh, I think these guys went extinct from the desert. I'm pretty sure. No, I thought they were. we still got a few herbivores we can do. Was the Iguanodon wiped out? Yeah, Iguanodon was wiped out. We've got... The Cynoceratops is very close. We've got... The Parasaur is thriving at the minute. Stegos have just been brought back, so they're thriving. This guy's coming back, so he's going to be thriving. We've had a ton of... We've got, like, Nudosaurus on the brink. Yeah, Nudosaurus gone extinct. We had Struthiomimus gone extinct, maybe, or maybe not. Yep, Struthiomimus gone extinct. The little Dryosaurus went extinct. We've had quite a few creatures go, but carnivores are probably the biggest amount of creatures we've lost. Like Deinonychus went, Trudons went. We're on one more Utah Raptor before they go. We've had 
Albertosaurus might have gone or not. I don't know. No. We've had Aloes go, Ceratosaurus go, Concavenator. I don't think about them. He's gone. And then the large ones, we've had like... We've had... Carcanotosaurus go. Tarbosaurus go. One more Acro left. Again? What, did Ark die? Acra die? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Acra died. Oh. Well. That is... Not great. Yeah, we've had a quite a few things go then. We've had Rexy from the beginning. And some of our Gigas we've had for quite a long time. But the Pyroraptors are doing pretty well at the minute. We've got a few of them still living around. Three of them, to be exact. And one Utah Raptor, which is living alongside them. But yeah, we've got the Gigas. Fishbait, your Fishbait's still alive. And Houdini's still alive. I got my ghost. We've only got three of them left though. We've got an Edmontosaurus and might move into here. I think we've still got all of these guys. These guys, we still got Crystal and other Spino. Nothing is going to stop them now. Nothing's going to stop them. We've got a little Velociraptor hunting down a HML. So I think on that note, after this last few creatures come out. Oh, we've got some really cool Edmontosauruses. I think on that note, on that mass extinction of creatures I've just found out, we are going to end the episode there. Next episode, I'm going to might add my first hybrid. So if you like... Oh, wait. We've got our first little fight of our... Oh, my lord. Jesus, I didn't think you killed anyone. But you obviously do. He's killed four and he's killed two. So on that note, if you like this video at any point, please leave a like. And if you're new, please subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video. See ya.